Mission to Cybertron Deluxe Class Transformers The Last Night Megatron. Oof, that's a mouthful. Now I'm reviewing Transformers Voyager Class Mission to Cybertron Transformers The Last Night Copernicus. Woo! You know what would be a mouthful if I said all their names are then in Copernicus? That would be a mouthful. Alright, so. I might not say these guys' names right, but I'm going to go with the ones that I know first. Here's Rupture, and he turns into like this killer bird, I'm going to say. Um, oh, it looks weird. Transform. Oh, the wings are water. Transform, push on the wings. Pull on the shoulders. Push down this. Pull the dent so you can't see the eyes. Push up the head. Flip in the tail. Push down the feet. And voila, you're done. I really like Rupture. I don't know why I like Rupture. I guess so cool. Next up is Skulk. I drink no. Next up is Thr Thrash. Thrash is this two-headed dragon. And he basically all these guys except for Skulk are um repaints of Transformers, Beast Hunters, um It was not my instructor. Um, Abominus. Abominus. And this guy was Santa Twin. Um, so Thrash is kind of cool. Or is it Trash? Thrash. And then Transform. Thrash. We're going to take these armor plating, swing these down and push them in. Take these other armor plating, swing these ones down and push them in. And we're going to take the head, split it, take the heads actually, go up here, flip the tail. These come down here and pull out the head and push back this. Um, nice looking little figure. I really think that this figure got a good toy, and I just love this guy for some reason. I really do. All right, next up we have we're moving into the legs. This guy that I'm going to show you now is Glug. That is the dumbest name ever. His name is Glug. Who named the guy Glug? Glug has got to be one of the worst guys ever. was actually and it was originally Ripper Snapper, then he was Grimlock, and now he's Glug. And to transform this guy, you're gonna take that head out. <laughs> Rip his head apart. <laughs> Fall down the head. Push the head up. Rip the body out. Push it up here. <laughs> Swing down the arms and push up this. This is a murdering act. You're ripping the brain out of the head, ripping the head in half, and falling in the head. Jeez, it's a murdering act, Glug. I hate you, Glug. I hate you. 
All right, this is my favorite. This is Gorge. Gorge is this monster ape. I'll be right back. Monster Ape is really weird. For some reason, I like this guy. Glug is just my favorite. To transform Glug, you're going to take Monster's head, go all the way back. Why are all the legs, why are all these guys murdering axe? Rip the. Turn these around, push, flip the knee out, push the toes out. Pull down these parts, flip out the hands, they don't go all the way out, so if you try to do that, I don't know what will happen. Pull down these, flip out the head, push it up. Interesting. I like this guy's robot. Uh, the head really bad. Alright guys, the reason that I saved Skulk for, for the last one is because one, body of the combiner oh i give it away and also because he's one of the best ones in the set all right now to transform into like that big guy's head form i'm gonna take these two swords and kadoom you've got this giant and i'm actually gonna show you something this thing is like a knife for a person. All right, so now that we got that killer sword done and out of the way, you're going to want to go over here, push in these parts, flip them down. The technique that I like to do is pull these out, flip the, the legs down so they're facing down, open up this part, flip it up, pull it out, push it in, boom bada ba doom, it's done. Now, for this guy, you're gonna push in his head, and come back here, these parts and just keep that open tab it in hold everything in to make it even more stabler and ba boom we've got our first leg all right This murdering act doesn't get that bad this time. Just pulls in the head. Push in the arms. Tap these two pieces together. And fold them down. And and boom bada ba doom. We've got our second leg. I think the first looks better than the second. So far, he looks like this. All right, now for rupture. Rupture is basically turning the guy into vehicle mode, but keeping the tail in, flipping these parts out, pushing these parts up to the top, and just doing that. And then I'm going to connect it into these little tab components. I know you can't see because it's easier for me to actually do this when I'm actually holding it like this. And I'm going to bring it down, flip out. All right. Infernicus just needs one more arm and then I'll be done. And that arm is th thrashing. Thrash, we need to 
buddy. I transformed Thrash, and I like Thrash is not the best. Push down the head, push in that part. Push up this, flip down this, and voila, and bam. Pushing that in, we got Infernicus, and all I need to do now, just make sure that'll stand up so you get Now, one thing that I find very interesting about Infernicus is in the movie, he just combined for a bigger part of himself, but this time he's actually a very cool looking, and he actually looks like a combiner now. So, I really do like this figure, and I'm gonna have to say, Honestly, the figure rules. I feel like the, the what they did to make this guy is phenomenal. I just it, it, Hasbro did a fantastic job making this guy. I don't know who made him, but I've got to say to the person who made it, fantastical to you, Mama. Because this, this is above and beyond. You never knew that Hasbro could pull off one of the worst lines in Transformers history and make a fantastic figure out of it. This is Nato Studios tuning out. And if you like that video, please comment and subscribe.